Welcome to another episode of On This Day in Film History. Today we're going back to June 10th, 1966. Mike Nichols' first film, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, is released. To understand why this is important to film history, we have to talk about the man, Mike Nichols. He was born Mikhail Igor Pyskowski, don't know why he changed it, on November 6, 1931 in Berlin. At age 7, him and his family fled from Nazi Germany to come to America. He became a citizen at age 13. In 1953, he started his entertainment career as an announcer for a classical music station in which he created the show The Midnight Special, which had musicians perform show tunes and folk music live in the studio. This program is still going on if you listen to 98.7 WFMT in Chicago on Saturdays from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m obviously without Nichols. He soon moved his talents to the stage, starring in plays and doing comedy acts with Elaine May. The LP from his Broadway show with her won them a Grammy for Best Comedy Album. After he stopped performing with Elaine May, he began directing plays. Stating his first day on Barefoot in the Park, he realized this is what he was supposed to do. He ended up directing The Odd Couple, The Knack, and Love before being invited to direct the film Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. After that, he moved almost full steam into films, directing instant classics like The Graduate, in which he won Best Director, Catch-22, Cardinal Knowledge, Postcards from the Edge, The Birdcage, Primary Colors, Wolf, Closer, and Charlie Wilson's War. He ended up going back to plays intermittently, producing Annie and directing Plaza Suite, The Prisoner of Second Avenue, The Gin Game, The Real Thing, Spam a Lot, and many more, and some stuff for TV. He ended up being the winningest EGOT receiver, winning four Emmys, nine Tonys, a Grammy, and an Oscar, plus many more nominations. Unfortunately, Mike Nichols passed away suddenly on November 19th, 2014, of a heart attack. His death has still left a hole in the entertainment industry that saw him as a leader and an inspiration to filmmakers around the world. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Come back tomorrow for an interesting Inuit. Thank you.